This is heartbreaking. <sighs> Alright, Facebook, so we made the trip over to the Hathaway Bridge. You know, as soon as we got to Gulf Coast State College, we started seeing damage. Uh, lots of structural damage, lots of trees and power lines down. Highway 390 is inaccessible once you go north of 23rd Street. Uh, it's impassable. There's, there's people just walking on the streets. Um, okay, I want to thank my subscriber for sending the link along to this uh, news crew who for 18 minutes, 18 and a half minutes, sit in this car driving around Panama City and, well, they're, they're trying to get information out about the damage. And for 18 and a half minutes, there doesn't look to be all that much damage. They are crying, and it seems fake. Sorry, but it does not seem real listening to them. Um, people, they say things like, people are walking around. Well, okay, so... They're walking around. All right. I, I don't know. You know, I had a conversation with a friend of mine in Dallas, and we both agreed that uh, something's very wrong, and we are living in a time of perhaps, perhaps parallel universes um, or, or if we're not, have people really lost their friggin' minds? Is this guy just like a snowflake? I cannot believe I was listening to this with my mouth open. Like, are you kidding me? I'm not going to play the whole 18 minutes. I will link below to it, but just uh, share a few minutes with me, please. Sands. It looks like there's damage, but there's some relief efforts. I'm worried for all the recovery teams that are going to be here and there's not going to be gas. I don't know. It looks like they're turning people around here, but just do what you can. This is uh, Forest Park United Methodist Church. Structural damage. Wow. It just ripped the roof off. And here's the thing, guys. You know, we've been kind of quarantined from and really cut off from any information. So we're trying to put the, you're getting a raw look with us. You've probably seen, if you're out of town, you've seen more images and video than we have. Uh, no, I don't think many stores are open. Based on what I'm seeing, it looks like there's a, there would be a lot of stores open. <laughs> if you're um, out of the area, if you're out of the area and you're safe, you need to stay there. There's no water, or if you do have water, you have to boil it. There's no power. Um, people are just walking around. And driving. Uh, the roads look... We're not going to be able to go check on places, uh, you know, <laughs> most likely. You know, you guys are just telling, we're just going to do the best we can and go where we can go. But you can see that this is only going to get worse as you go east. It didn't get worse. And I do want to say that 
this all erupted uh, within just a few days, and the evacuations, particularly in this area of Panama City, they evacuated about 120,000 people. Um, so, uh, why is there no water? The, most of the stores that you see, these guys passing, are fine. So, I would think that there would be water in the stores. Well, it's like we're turning on Lisenby. We're forced to go right. You know, Jessica, we... About 24 hours before landfall. How do you know they were forced to go right? Did they show a barrier? No. They're filming the damage, and they don't even film uh, uh, that they were forced to go right. We knew it was going to be bad. Yeah. We didn't know where. Seeing it, because this is our home, and this is where we love, and it's just hard. It's just hard. Oh, boy. So we're real, too, people. We're, uh, we're real. We're not robots. Just wearing our hearts on our sleeve. Sensor, sensory overload. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah, just keep going. Uh, looks like you can kind of head toward 98. Yeah. There is widespread destruction in Bay, Gulf, Calhoun, Jackson, and maybe even Franklin and Wakulla County. But apparently they didn't... We're going to be stronger, that's for sure. Apparently they didn't film. We're going to have a impeccable bond. I know we can't necessarily get the information out to people who really need it, but if you can get this and you're out of town and you somehow have contact with someone who's local and in place, Know that we're doing everything we can. You're crying? We're driving through grass. Oh just my to god! Try to we're driving through grass. Make a way. There's so oh. many power crews. There's oh so many. God. You know, last night there was people already cutting down trees, or at least moving them so that you can kind of get places. I mean, people are going to be stuck in their homes and their neighborhoods. People are riding bikes. Oh my god, they're riding bikes. You know, people who Looks weren't like nice homeless. Day are homeless. People who had it bad have it worse. I just, I just got a Facebook message from my husband. And um, he's okay, but I have not been able to communicate with him recently. He was actually outside of the evacuation zone with a friend in Lynn Haven. And I just got a Facebook message from him. And he said, um, that I'm heading your way, but I was actually heading his way. Oh, oh cute, cute. Okay. Uh, this is like I a haven't musical. been able to directly talk to my fiance since noon, but um, her sister, who lives in Bayou George, lost her house. I talked to her. She had easier access to my fiance and. Um, they're okay. She rode the storm out with her parents, and they're okay. And my fiance told her sister to tell her that she loves me, and that's all I know. I don't know how the house is. I don't know what I'll be going back to, but as long as they're okay, we'll get through it. I don't know why I keep showing my ugly face. <laughs> I thought I'd turn the camera. Okay, where is the catastrophic damage that you can't even hold back your tears? because it's so destroyed We're there. trained to stay calm and to be strong and tell the story. But at this moment, it's just too hard to do that. Yeah. I mean, we see destruction in other places. We saw Florence, we've seen Harvey, we've seen so many other storms, but Irma, but then when it hits you, it's even worse. And this is gonna be 
maybe rivaling Andrew and Katrina. I mean, seriously. Katrina? Seriously. And I hope there's far less deaths than Katrina. I really I do. I hope there's here. 100 people killed. That would be a blessing. And you know what I mean? I don't hope there's 100 people killed. I hope there's zero. But I hope the maximum is 100. Seriously. Uh, um, if you are out of town, I see a lot of people trying to get back. Stay out of town, for the love of God. There's nothing that you can do right now. There's nothing you can do. Everyone who is possibly here is doing their best. First responders can't even get in, so how the heck are you going to get in? If you have water, if you have food, if you have well, some place to stay elsewhere, you're good. Uh, hopefully your house is okay, but we'll worry about that later. I don't have any other info. I can assure you that we have... Katrina. Katrina? They're equating this with Andrew and Katrina? Um... I don't know what to say, because everything I'm thinking, if I said what I'm thinking, well, some of you might think I'm just mean, but, uh, so I'll, I'll, okay, Katrina, <clears throat> Andrew, um, Harvey, Harvey, days of uh, just Houston and the surrounding areas sitting in water. They're driving around in their car claiming this is like Katrina. Remember Katrina? Is this like Katrina? Oh boy. Oh, I would really, if I just let loose here, I would, uh, snowflakes, you gotta be very, very careful with them. Drama queens. Drama queens. We have an awful lot of drama queens in America. I have crews trying to, we've split up everybody into two or three groups trying to get as far west as we can. Um, but I don't know how far, I'm sorry, far east as we can. I don't know how far east this is going to happen. Basically, the worst damage was along Thomas Drive, the east end of Front Beach Road, and then back to the to the east. What? Back you're just going to have to plan to stay wherever you are. If you're in Nashville, if you're in Huntsville, if you're in Birmingham, Montgomery, Pensacola, Columbus, wherever outside of the area, stay there for a while, as long as you can until, you know, we get, it's going to get better in the days ahead, but it's not going to be overnight. Okay, even if there was a lot of damage that they just to happen to just not film, um, then you would think that you would see an awful lot of debris in the parking lots, but you don't see any. We, we do know that there are, we do know that there are schools that yes. are damaged. Shelter, you know, there was a shelter that, you know, had damage. They had to evacuate, I guess, during the storm. Yeah. To, to I, we don't know seek yet. shelter, you know, somewhere else. And that's what's been so difficult, is that we have been cut off from information because just everything went down. And we didn't even have communication as a news station no, to, to give the you. emergency operations center. Right. Scott and, and somebody else was over there. They couldn't relay the information to us, even though they were safe, and we just felt helpless. It, and that is a terrible, terrible feeling because... It's our job to try to get that information out, and we know that. You know, journalism is calling, and we know that we've call, been called to do this job, and then we can't do it. Mm -hmm. And people are yearning for that information. It's it's heartbreaking. It really is. Um, I you have about eight and a half more minutes. If you want to see the end, they drive around. They go past car dealerships. There's no damage. You don't even see any damage to the cars, but this guy in the back claims that all of the cars are totaled. What the hell are we living? What the hell are we living? You know, I went down to New Orleans. Oh, God, when was it? Um, I don't know, 2012, 2000... Yeah, 
or thir I don't even know, or 13. Um, when was Katrina? 2005? 2005, I went down seven, eight years later, and you could still see the massive destruction in an awful lot of the homes. You still saw the X's, you know, how they mark, you know, whether or not somebody was alive or not with the numbers zero and X and, you know, destroyed home. And there were blocks and blocks of homes left un unintended, unattended, and um, you could you, you drive through those blocks, it's heartbreaking. They're driving through this area claiming that this is like Katrina or Andrew. How I want to say how dare they, how dare they do this. Uh, what, what, what kind of uh, what what is the men mentality here I do not understand I do not understand now perhaps they drove by an awful lot of damage and just didn't film any of that and that's what they're crying about but what they are presenting here is nothing like Katrina or Andrew even the flooding that took place with Florence. Okay. I don't, uh, how do you, how do you even, how do you, what do you say to this? How, how do you respond to this? Look at this. Dangerous roads in Franklin County. Wow. Okay, so uh, what caused that? I will tell you, extremely low frequencies can cause it. So the winds come up and just ripped up that street. All right. I, I would love to hear what you have to say about what we just watched. The link is below if you want to watch right to the end. But it doesn't get any better.